Hi, my name's Dan Turnbull. I'm a proud Bunurong Palawa man. Cultural heritage is uh, it's the legacy inherited by our ancestors, and it includes responsibilities to protect both the physical aspects, land, water, flora, fauna, and today archaeology, and the intangible aspects, so our story, language, mythology, and law. All these things form a part of what we call caring for country. You see, our ancestors understood that caring for country actually allowed country to care for them. Uh, as a practice, caring for country has mostly ceased in the last couple of hundred years due to colonisation. And we can see the effects of that everywhere. We've got biodiversity issues, we've got fires, floods, droughts, a global pandemic, um, and the climate is rising. And if, if you think of caring for country in this way, it kind of appears as a cycle where we look after everything and everything then looks after us. In many ways, it's kind of an extension of how we care for each other as well as ourselves. And the best part is that the benefits are enjoyed by all things for all time, not just a few of us for a short time. I mean, today, caring for country can be as simple as picking up a bit of rubbish off the street or as complex as a state level biodiversity plan or a local level master plan. But it's really about thinking about what we do and how that affects everything else around us. Um, then we just need to adjust what we do in order to minimise negative impacts on those things. Uh, like many traditional owner organisations, the Bunurong Land Council are establishing a Caring for Country team which will enable us to tend to our responsibilities on the land and waters, um, which will help to protect the flora and the fauna. Uh, like many other traditional owner organisations, we also make decisions about how our cultural heritage is managed through uh, our registered Aboriginal party, the Bunurong Land Council. Um, another way we might care for country is by learning, speaking and promoting our language, telling our stories and upholding Bundjal's law. Thank you.